next speaker is Timo Sturdell. Uh, he will be talking about combining uh, all test reports into one. And as we did yesterday, let's welcome Timo on stage with the maximum amount of noise you can make. Let's do it. Timo, welcome. Good morning, everybody. It's nice to see still so many of you here. So I hope you slept well and are ready for the second day, the last day. All right. So yeah. So my name is Timo Stural, and I'm talking to about today about combining all test reports to one. And but bit first, I would like to give you a bit of a background. Well, first, first of all, as you can see, I'm wearing this. Uh, black uh, uh, thingy here, so meaning that I'm a kind of a multitasker here. I'm a part of the organization team, and uh, I'm also a sponsor, and now I'm kind of uh, also giving this one talk here today. Uh, a bit of a background, yeah, that uh, uh, I'm from Efficode, and uh, well, in Efficode we have been in this robot framework development now for 10 years, so we were there already before the foundation times. And that uh, I was saying yesterday that, OK, we, in Finland, we have basically uh, four uh, teams. So we have software development, which is uh, using robot framework for doing testing. We have uh, DevOps consultation, which is helping customers to use robot framework for their testing. And we have the Efficode root DevOps tool chain, where robot framework is one of the key parts. And OK, then the fourth part is, is the fourth uh, team, what we have is the UX. And I've been saying that, OK, the, well, the UX is a kind of exception here. And then I saw yesterday the lightning talk from Elo about this uh, accessibility testing. And I said, wow, hey, next week we'll have the whole company using robot framework. So uh, we are absolutely in love with robot framework. And in the past, so we have been doing these kind of things, what I've uh, listed here. So like the Jenkins plugin and all these libraries, well, a bunch of examples here. I might have missed something, but like SSH, CNC, Image Horizon, JavaFX, Rambok, and some tools like DBBot and RFDoc. And uh, at least I noticed that yeah, nowadays we are maintaining this uh, REST instance as well. But that, And we try to do it, but uh, well, I was just heard yesterday that, for example, for Image Horizon, there are some PRs waiting for, for merging and, and uh, uh, something I need to, to check out that how we can get it, get it worked out. OK. But then, today, uh, I'm presenting now one more tool for Robot Framework. The challenge here is that uh, um, in a project, we have all kinds of testing needs and all ki different kinds of tools what we use for testing. And the problem is that the, every single tool provides its own kind of a report. And uh, then the reviewing the results is very complicated. So you open each report, tune your brain for the report, and then at the end, uh, based on all the reports you have, you need to plan actions that uh, what we should be doing about these results, especially so that, OK, you can prioritize what you want to do next. So what if we could have all the reports combined to one? So we could much more easier, it would be much more easier to review all the results together and then also planning the future actions will be, will be much easier because we can do it based on a single document. We have developed a tool called Oxygen, uh, which is converting uh, test reports to the format, the XML format that Robot Framework is using. And uh, it supports currently out of the box JUnit for unit testing, Gatling for performance testing, and Zap for security testing some tools uh, which we have been using with it. It can be easily extended to other formats. And uh, as an example, you can see there, that's from the uh, Gatling converter, a piece of the code there, uh, the core piece of the code. There's not much out of it, but uh, I just couldn't fit the whole thing there. But that uh, it's not very complicated. So it's a pretty easy to add uh, new formats there. It's, of course, that you need to know the, the format first. There is two ways of using the tool. 
So uh, the better way, uh, from my perspective, is to create robot framework test cases where you execute the other tools using robot framework. And for that purpose, Oxygen Joule in, in includes uh, the, the library that has uh, these run uh, keywords for different tools. So as an example, you can see on the screen there, there is J, run JUnit, uh, uh, run uh, Gatling, and run Zap. All the parameters are visible there because uh, they just didn't fit to the screen. So there's lots of parameters uh, for, well, for some of the tools. JUnit is simple, but uh, or can be simple, but for example, for Gatling, there is a, quite a big bunch of uh, parameters you want to have there. And uh, then you execute robot uh, using the oxygen as a listener. The other option is to convert the logs afterwards. So you can do it command line, and then at the end, combine all the reports uh, uh, using robot. Here's an example of the uh, uh, option A. So option A here was to run it uh, from the road framework all the tests. And in this case, you get as nice report as you would get uh, when you're running just uh, the normal robot framework tests. So you have all the tags there, what you have in the test, and everything in place. So it's a kind of a hard to notice that uh, you have uh, actually tests for different tools uh, included in the report. The option B was to execute uh, the conversions afterwards, so you can get all the stuff there as well, but it kind of gets a bit more uh, fuzzy. So, so it's, uh, you can still get, it, get the things done, but kind of nicer reports are available if you, if you run the tests from robot framework. Uh, the links what I have there are also in the Robocon IO, so you need to copy it from here. And the current version of the Oxygen is 0.2, so it's completely functional. Uh, but there's always room for improvement. So uh, there might be some things that uh, uh, might need uh, uh, improving in the current formats, but of course, kind of uh, more formats would be more than welcome. So I wanted to just uh, show it to you here that if you find it useful, please let me know. And, uh, and currently, we don't have any plans for uh, implementing other formats there. So if, you, if there is a need for some others, so you need to support the development by making a pull request. And um, if you want to go it to, the, to, the, to the end with this, all this stuff, because kind of uh, uh, combining all the reports is just a kind of a one of the step on the way. So how I would do it is that uh, using the Jenkins plugin, execute the robot tests, put all the data to InfluxDB with the uh, InfluxDB plugin, and uh, then uh, create uh, statistics with Grafana. And then you have it all shared. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Timo. Uh, one question, Inform uh, information structure-wise, like I was thinking that uh, is there any difference between this uh, solution and having a dashboard that basically collects the high-level information and then you can kind of drill down? That's the, that's the normal way of doing it, but yeah. the, the problem is that uh, then you need to kind of, uh, on the, uh, uh, the dashboard side, you need to handle the, the, uh, all the different kinds of reports, mm. what you are collecting yeah, there. Kind. That's the other way of doing it, and I have a feeling that this is the easier way to do it, that you have, for the Grafana, you have all the, everything kind of uh, in, in a w one, uh, same, same kind of a format. Of course, there is a difference in the detail that, uh, I mean, when we are executing the normal robot framework test, you get a big bunch of a detail there. And then for the other tools, it kind of depends on the tool that how much, de uh, how much detail it really provides in the logs, that uh, how much exactly. we can get there. Yeah. Uh, we have a few other uh, questions. Why combining many reports? Doesn't the report uh, like be too long? Mm. Yeah. 
I didn't follow, but that kind of a, yeah, the, like but I explained the, the idea. The is super long if you combine everything. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, then you need to think about that, uh, yeah, how, how you build it there, that, uh, that kind of, uh, w what kind of, um, yeah, well, it's at the end, it's the visualization then that uh, what, you, what you provide it. Yeah. yeah. Um, and one last question. Why not simple user allure? Simple user allure. Ah, oh, I don't know about that. We'll, we'll research it during the break. Yeah, yeah. Hey, thank you, Timo. Excellent talk. <laughs>